Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome back to Make Repair Recycle, where today we are going to make this smartphone filming stand. Now, as you will have seen from the thumbnail, quite a few parts on this are 3D printed, so let's start with the CAD on this. The mainframe is made from one inch steel tube in this rather fetching powder coated blue. And for the base of the stand, I'm just going to use an off colour wood that I've got laying around in the workshop. The main reason for making something like this, as opposed to just using a regular tripod, is with the tripod I've got, it's quite difficult to point it downwards or aim at anything on the bench. Now you can do that, but then you see the legs in the shot and it just looks a bit you know, half assed really. So one of the key design features I wanted to do with this was to have something that would hold the camera at sort of arm's length, if you will, and point downwards. So you can do close-up shots of assembly work or some fine fettling that you're doing. In order to do that, I thought I could use the two steel tubes, as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, and join them together with a pivot in the middle. The basis of this pivoting is really a pair of tube clamps joined together with a pivot. Now on the mating faces of the pivoting joint, uh, I'm going to put some castellations into it that sort of lock together, a bit like teeth, a bit like helical gear teeth, so that when the thing's done up tight, it's not just the friction of the bolt holding the thing together, there's some uh, locking teeth in there to stop it from spinning. The last thing you want is the camera to very gracefully droop through 45 degrees halfway through filming something. Then to actually hold the camera itself, I did have a couple of ideas on this, and the first one I actually bend off, it was more of a tray that sat in the end of the tube that could rotate. It wouldn't pivot other than just spinning on the axis of the tube, and it just looked a bit. Now, as usual, when sitting there thinking about these things, you end up trolling through the internet, and Thingiverse is your friend, and I'll put a link in the description to the actual smartphone clamp that I found, because some clever chap had already come up with that. And then I stumbled across another idea, which somebody else had done on Thingiverse, but I think it's something that's probably based in filming camera stands, lighting stands, that sort of thing, which is to use a pair of uh, round balls and clamping onto those give you the ability to rotate through many angles, shapes, directions, you know, with a pair of almost 360 degree pivoting joints. Now the files and the designs that I could find on Thingiverse for the clamp on the board was really aimed at a phone uh, a little bit lighter than mine. Uh, I did print them out and try it, and it just, it just wasn't trying it, but it just drooped under the weight of the phone. So I decided to make my own and uh, make something a little more yeah, beefy and probably slightly over engineered, but you know, you have to do it once, and make sure it works. Final bit of uh, titivation and starting up, the files are ready to be printed out. And over one night, printed they were, and then we can get on with assembly. So, from the scrap length of tube I've got, I'm just going to cut it in half. It's about a metre long and roughly somewhere in the middle two pieces approximately 500mm long. Careful addition of the sharp end of the angle grinder. Yeah, chop through this. I didn't do a very good job, I'll be honest, of uh, cutting this neatly and uh, cleanly. So it did need a little bit of tidying up with the flap discards, but just to take off the burrs and tie the end up a bit from the piss poor attempt of cutting it straight in the first place. So with those cut down and neatened up, it was time to look at the wood rack and try and find something of the right size and shape that uh, I can bore a hole into and use as the 
the base. As you can see, this lovely fetching piece has clearly been used for spray painting in the past. Bit big, this one with the fetching 45 degree angle already gnawed into it. I look a bit from a beaver rather than a gun saw. It'll do for now for this. Now luckily I also had a force and a bit, a 25mm diameter, which is near enough the size of the tube that meant it was going to be a little bit of an interference fit. But once I'd hammered it in once, it wasn't going to come out again. Obviously with the smartphone out on the end of the arm, liable to tip over. Now, I'd sized the base so I could either clamp it down to a bench or a shelf or something, but also this dumbbell laying around, which clearly hasn't been used in quite some time, uh, I could use the weights of that just as a counterbalance. Placing it over the upright tube didn't really give enough. It would probably hold it down and stop it from tipping over, but actually just holding the weight on the base of it is going to be more than enough to stop this from tipping over under the weight of the camera. So here are the 3D printed parts and a very nice make repair recycle orange and fairly basic just put the screws in and tighten it up and there's the cancellations on the faces between the two pivoting joints and they're the bits that are just going to stop it from rotating and give the uh, give it a bit more bite now I did make a slight bodge here in a slight cog in the design didn't leave enough room for the wing nut to turn so you can't do it with your fingers you will need a screwdriver as well and here is the pivoting ball mechanisms these are held together with some M6 screws and wing nuts now in order to 3D print the ball ends without having to add raft and supports and all other uh, annoying things. I've actually flattened the bottom of these balls off. I was slightly concerned as to whether they would still grip because obviously you're missing a chunk of the spherical face. But actually they work fine. You have to be a little bit careful with the angles but once this thing's done up tight it's not going anywhere. So the actual clamp for the camera is something off Thingiverse, which I shall put a link to the description for. But actually the end of this ball is sized from a relatively standard kind of GoPro action camera mount. So anything of the two prongs design should fit in there as well, which might be useful for later on. And the fun time now, we can start putting everything together. So the main pivot attached to the upright tube, actually the clamps on these are pretty good, I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be more than strong enough to support the weight of the, the camera and the arm hanging off the end of it, even if you give it a good bump with your elbow it's still not going to move. So there's the main cruciform and the pivot joint put together actually looks all right. Got a little bit of a wobble to it, if I'm honest, but um, if anyone is going to be a stationary camera stand, that would be fine. Now we can get the camera support on the other end, and again, this is just done up tight on wing nuts. It is wonderfully adjustable, I think. This is going to actually be more useful for as a camera filming stand for all sorts of things in the workshop because the tripods do take up a fair bit of real estate and we've only got a small shop, every, uh, every square inch really does count. And here's the test with the camera and the smartphone in place and it doesn't move. I was actually, um, I'd stumped myself with this one. I was kind of expecting to put the weight of the camera in and the thing just droop carefully downwards and uh, back to the drawing board. Actually, this is uh, filmed and works first time. As you can see, it's brilliant for pointing downwards, obviously filming things where you want to do any assembly work or any fine close-up work pointing straight downwards without having the tripod legs in shot. And so there you have it. Wonderful little filming stand made out of some scrap steel that I've found 
and some 3D printed parts. Uh, total cost for this thing? Probably less than, you know, two or three pounds, five bucks. And it's going to make life so much easier for filming in the workshop. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.